Hi everyone, welcome to Johnson's Journeys, Season 6, Episode 19, uh, the penultimate of the uh, sixth season. Um, two more games today, Antwerp and then OHL, um, before we round off the season with Genk and Anderlecht next episode. Um, we're currently third, um, we can't now win the league apparently. Um, why is that then? Oh yeah, I suppose. We can only get 49 points. Um, so the battle is now on for second. Uh, as it stands, we're eight points behind Genk with a game in hand. Um, obviously, if we were to beat them in our upcoming game, then that would help. But it looks like uh, it's going to be just out of reach. Um, but hopefully we can beat Antwerp today anyway. If they beat us, uh, they go level on points with us. Although we have a much better goal difference. Um, OHL struggling so far and are way off the pace so should be an easy uh, game um, so yes let's get forward to the game uh, obviously we've missed nothing since last episode um, the yeah I forget which games it were Anderlecht and Ghent that was right um, so I think this is the team today just double check yeah it looks fine so it's Debooster in goal, Murisan, Briancon, Wouters and Sessegnon, Sasa and Gaspar, Alexiev, Nelson, Hrick and Tristar. And that's it, yeah, we'll we'll get into the game. Um, Antwerp at home. Uh, I forget how we got on in the last game against Antwerp. Um, we beat them 4-1. So um, hopefully a repeat of that today. Um, and that will be smashing. Um, let's do that. And yeah, um, we've hit a, well, not really a dodgy bit of form. We lost to Anderlecht, obviously, and then I think it was a draw either side of that. So um, we're in slightly iffy form, but it's certainly not horrendous. Um, and yeah, we'll see how we get on today. Um, we look like we're dominating early on 20 minutes in they're yet to have a shot uh, although we're yet to do anything meaningful um, more possession obviously as per usual with this uh, uh, tactic um, but yeah as I say nothing I haven't seen a highlight yet um, and apparently we've had 8 shots so um, yeah, uh, here we go. Could this be the first one? Briancon to Frick plays it down to Gaspar to Tristar. Nelson's got the pace and finishes it off. Come on, 1 0. Reese Nelson with his 12th of the season. Uh, lovely assist from Tristar. Knew that Nelson had the pace to beat the fullback, which he does. Composed in at the far post. Lovely, jubbly. Um, and that's yeah 1-0 just before half time um, it's a good time to score uh, hopefully we can push on can we get another just before half time actually Sessegnon down the left Tristar in the middle can't quite get there Sasa picks it up Sessegnon ball in not it out to Gaspar to Hrick through to Tristar hits the post I think or the keeper one of the two that's unfortunate. Good bit of play around the edge of the box, though. Um, but yeah, half time, 1 0. Uh, assertive, I know you're capable of better. Few more goals. Let's get some form into the team um, ahead of the last three games. Rick there loses the ball, but. Uh, yeah, as I say, Genk, you know, only five points behind them as it stands. Um, if we were to lose a game now, <clears throat> between now and the end of the season, then that would be disastrous in terms of our second place assault. Um, obviously, we'll have to keep half an eye on what Genk do as well, but um, we worry about ourselves. Tristar's in, and Jazina beats it away. 
Uh, another little dry patch for TriStar. I think the last goal he scored might have been in this reverse fixture and we won 4 1. I'm pretty sure he got a hat trick. Um, but yeah, as I said, I don't think he scored since, which is concerning. Um, Wooters now to Sasa, to Gaspar, to Herrick, through to TriStar, and that's put wide. Um, I'm going to make a change or two. Sanchez for Herrick, Cherny for Alexiev. Um, see if that gives us some fresh impetus going forward. That's a nice word. It's a nice word. Um, Cherny now with a free kick, but straight through to the keeper. Um, plays it out to the centre half. Through to the striker, through to the other striker, and hits the post. Ooh, that was close. That was, we were carved apart far too easily there. Um, slightly concerning, but we're holding on, we're holding on. Scraping this 1-0 win. I like it. Uh, our loney striker, Hoysmans, has just come on. Um, which I probably shouldn't have pointed out, because that probably means he'll score a last-minute equaliser, but hey-ho. Uh, Vanaken's on the last 20 minutes see if he can impact the game in any way um, and yeah just getting towards the full time whistle again not seen that many chances um, which is alright you know um, building now down the right hand side into the centre for Sasa down the line for Nelson got the pace on his man to try star hits the post oh is he ever going to score Nelson to Sanchez oh and hits the side netting um, hit the post twice now both I think were try star um, just not falling for him today which is unfortunate for him uh, Hoysmans is here he's got a lot to do but uh, the ref blows the whistle 1-0 uh, not the best result, well, I mean, the win is important, not the best performance, that's what I'm after, um, but, you know, the result is is exactly what we wanted. Um, right then, I'll get forward to the next game, and uh, we'll see you there in a second. Okay, it's time for the second game. At home against OHL. Uh, the team is as you were, uh, but I've brought Sanchez back in for Hrick. Um, and that's it, yeah. Um, let's see if we can do the business. Uh, Genk play Antwerp, so they should probably win that. Um, we'll keep an eye on that game uh, as we go. So that's fine. Passionate. I have faith. I have faith. I have faith. Everyone's in good morale, to be fair. Everyone's in good morale. Everyone has good morale. I don't know what the right phrase is, but one of them anyway. Um, let's get the latest scores there. Are Genk playing? Oh. No, maybe Genk aren't playing yet. Doesn't matter. Let's do our job and then worry about them later. Um, if we win today, it really puts the pressure on them. So, Briancon's just had one cleared off the line or hit the post or the bar or something. But it didn't go in anyway. Nearly, nearly, nearly. Um, once again, rocketing through this first half. Um, dominating shots, dominating possession, but I haven't seen anything yet. Um, which is becoming quite a recurring feature um, although as I say this Alexiev with one of the worst balls back I've ever seen um, but we try again Sanchez to Sasa to Gaspar to Sanchez knocking it round Nelson to Tristar finish that get in there it is he's finally got one um, first for about four games Nelson with the ball across gets it out of his feet past the defender 
in at the near post. Lovely finish. Um, and that's, yeah, 1-0. Um, his 33rd goal of the season. Can he get a couple more in this second half? Um, the answer is probably no. However, I would like it to be yes. Um, but it's actually OHL that are attacking. Corner cleared by Sanchez and blocked once again. Um, and they have another corner. A bit of early pressure in this second half. Uh, Debusa claims to the fullback. Yep, Sessignon, good boy. Now we've got a corner. Nelson, Briancon, Murisan, Wouters, but the keeper claims it. It's gone down as an absolute sitter. Um, but hey ho. Never mind, eh? Centre halves aren't meant to be good at finishing, so. Um, yeah, again, just pottering through. Um, 56th minute. Sasa, oh, I was going to say in the book, but he's, he's not. What I'm going to do, Cherny for Alexiev. Make that change with half an hour to go. Um, everyone else looks okay. Um, yeah, I think that'll that'll do us. Uh, we'll also we'll get Vanakin on for Gaspar, who seems to be struggling a little bit. Fitness not too bad though, but. Um, like for like in that central midfield so we'll get Vanakken on for the final 25 minutes see if he can do anything he didn't last game so I don't hold out much hope um, and yeah uh, into the 80th minute there you go and nothing is happening as usual uh, we've got a couple of games without getting booked actually which is which is good a few players pretty close to suspension which would be a killer at this time of the season um, but yeah no we've we've been we've kept our discipline in the past couple of games which is good to see a uh, nice bit of football here in the midfield I was gonna say we're not really going anywhere but we are now moving forward Sanchez, Sasa's involved, Vanakin's involved, Nelson, Murasan, ball in, Tristar, bang, 2-0, game over. His 34th goal of the season, 22nd in the league, 23rd in the league, something like that. Um, happy days. And if he can hit a bit of form going into these last couple of games, then uh, that would be massive. Um, all that talk about yellow cards by the way Brian Con, oh and Sasser uh, have gone into the book late on in the game which is superb I have a feeling Brian Con might be one of those that is now suspended um, we'll wait and see so yeah we've closed the gap on Genk to two points obviously they have a game in hand um, we need Antwerp to do us a favour now and um, and beat them uh, or at least take points off them a draw would be okay um, if they draw and then we beat them next then we'll be level on points and it would all come down to the last day um, which would be okay I suppose um, but yeah we'll see we'll see what happens uh, in their game uh, let's just check on yeah Briancon is indeed suspended uh, I think we'll go with Barmos to replace him um, and apart from that yeah so next episode last two games of the regular season it's Genk away and elect at home uh, make sure you're back for that massive games do we get, well, where can we still finish, actually? 
um, second to four. So depending on what how the Antwerp and Ghent game finishes up, uh, we can finish second, third, or fourth as it stands. Um, so second is is obviously the aim. Um, so yeah, make sure you're back with us next episode. Uh, see how we get on. <laughs>